Okay, so in this problem, let's read it. At the beginning of an experiment, the number of bacteria in a colony was counted at time equals zero. The number of bacteria in the colony t minutes after the initial count is modeled by the function b of t equals 4 times 2 to the t power. Which value and unit? Now look at the question. Which value and what? Unit. unit. So we're going to have to pick one of these four numbers. And then we're going to have to pick one of these units as well because it says select all that apply. So if I get the right answer, but I don't pick the right unit, I still miss it, don't I? Okay, which value and unit represent the average rate of change? So they're asking us, what is the slope? Because average rate of change means what? Slope. And they're wanting to know for the first five minutes. So they're asking us from zero minutes to what? five minutes so those would be your your two points okay now here's how we can do this my first point I know my input is zero minutes and I got to find an output right mm -hmm. and in my second point I know my input is what five. five minutes and I need to find an output now these all stand for T don't they mm -hmm. now you could rearrange your equation up there that says B of T equals four times two to the T power you could rewrite that to be like y equals 4 times 2 to the x power. You realize that's the same, right? Okay. And so basically what we're saying is let's plug 0 in for x and we'll put our output right there, right? And let's plug 5 in for x or t and we'll put our output right there, won't we? Okay, so let's do that. So what I'm saying is I've got y equals 4 times 2 to the 0 power. Okay, so what is 2 to the 0 power? 1, because anything to the 0 power is what? 1. one. So that's going to be y equals 4 times 1, which equals what? 4. So at 0 minutes, my output is 4, right? So there's my first point. Now, why am I trying to find two points? Because it asks for the average rate of change, which means slope. So I know if I can get two points, I can calculate slope, can I? Okay, so now let's input 5 into the function. So I've got y equals 4 times 2 to the 5th power. Okay, so now I need to calculate, well, what is 2 to the 5th power? 32, so I'm doing 4 times 32, which is 128. Okay, so there's my two points. And now we know how to find the slope given two points. The formula is M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, right? And so I know that this is the first X and the first Y and the second X and the second y. And so my slope, my average rate of change, is 128 minus 4 over 5 minus 0. Now we're in the calculator section, so you can use your calculator. So you know your slope equals 124 over 5, which is what is a decimal? 24.8. Okay. And now let's scroll over and see if 24.8 is a choice. And it is. But now I need to know what the unit is. Okay. 24.8 bacteria. Okay. That's not a unit because it's wanting to know um, we, we are doing bacteria versus time, right? So it's it can't just be bacteria. It's going to have to be like either G, which says bacteria per minute, or H would say minutes per bacteria. Well, minutes per bacteria doesn't even make sense, does it? I got 24.8 minutes per bacteria? No. You got your this bacteria colony is growing at a rate of 24.8 bacteria per what? Per minute. And so I'm going to select G along with it. 
So on the state test, you could do the whole thing right, but if you didn't select both the bacteria that were growing and the unit that it needed, you'd get it wrong. You got to have them both. Okay.